Yeah, we were going to talk to you about the Northern Island Morning Glory, Calistegia macrostegia, subspecies of macrostegia. <laughs> this is a endemic uh, to the Northern Channel Islands, all four of the Northern Channel Islands, and it's a rather distinctive native out here. Um, generally speaking, it's white, uh, white funnel-shaped flower. I'll reach up and pull one down. But you'll often see it um, tinged with a shade of pink, or sometimes being really pink. And that happens uh, primarily on the Channel Islands. You'll see that on the mainland as well with the different subspecies that grows there. Um, but out on the islands they get a gorgeous pink. Uh, this plant is different from the one that you find on the mainland in that the leaves are larger and the flowers are larger than the ones you'll find on the mainland. Right now on the Santa Barbara coast particularly, where the fires have occurred, uh, nor, um, uh, what's called coastal morning glory, a close relative of this, has filled in a lot of the fire areas uh, and so is acting like a, a major fire follower. Uh, but it definitely has smaller flowers and a very different leaf shape, smaller leaves. Here uh, it's rather different. So here's a good close-up of the Northern Island Morning Glory flower. You'll see that this actually has a little tiny bit of pink in it. Um, maybe we'll find at another time a, a really, really pink one. But this is pretty typical of how it looks. A relatively large funnel-shaped flower. The thing that you want to watch out for is to not confuse it with two other plants that look similar to this. The flowers look similar. And that is the bindweed, which is a non-native invasive plant with very small funnel-shaped flowers that um, are often colored very pink. And it's also not jimson weed with very large funnel-shaped flowers in a totally different family. Uh, perhaps we can put these up against each other at some point and kind of illustrate the difference. Um, Northern Island Mor Morning Glory is very common. It is climbs high up into shrubs, onto hillsides. You'll find it in a lot of places on uh, around Scorpion and uh, in Captain Island and, and elsewhere. It um, blooms almost all year round. It's uh, hard not to find a flower here or there. So it's uh, kind of a neat plant to show people from an interpretive point of view. Maybe we'll point out the flowers when they dry up. They eventually form a uh, group of um, a seed pod with little black seeds in it. Here, I'll pick this. Here are the uh, the leaves. A uh, sometimes called deltoid, kind of like uh, the ace of clubs, and fairly large. The ones on the mainland have much smaller leaves with a different shape to them.